Hey, what's up? Hey, hey. hey. How you doing, Frank? Good to see you again. I was watching your videos the other day. I know, I know. They did really well, really well. Especially mm -hmm. the shorts. This is uh, Paul. Hey, nice to meet you. Paul is the owner the, of Opish. So yeah. how is it working working in the camping industry? <laughs> it's Yeah, I mean, do you know what? I, I didn't wake up one day like, yeah, I want to work in camping and mm. RVing and that. But I did consider myself actually quite lucky that I'm in, I'm in this industry. Yeah. Like, it's not the sexiest, but at the same time. Oh, you guys make it look good. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Like you're talking to people about where they want to go on vacation and like where they want to have fun, like where they want to take their family. Like yeah. there are worse ways to spend your professional time. So yeah. it's it's pretty cool. It's it's good fun. So other than the design, what sets you guys as campers out from the rest? You other than the design, um, yeah. Well, the the air tent technology obviously is the, we're we're the only company doing that on, mm -hmm. on trailers at the moment. So that's that's like a real line in the sand only we do this on top of trains at the moment yeah. other companies are trying to come in some of them are trying to copy us but we work we got first here we've got the pattern on it so that clearly differentiates us yeah. um we were one of the first um import companies of aussie design campers over into the united states which so from australia from so australia, it's built. Cool. <laughs> there's a company over there they design these trailers um we were doing the European style and I was enjoying that as well. But mm -hmm. when we started looking at and then bringing it to the Australian trailers, that was when this company really like, bounced into, yeah. the, into, into the next level. Um, and then, yeah, I, we're not afraid to do bright colors. Like yeah. everything you can see is, you know, it's just all the same. But no, I love uh, orange it. and blues, we let the sport right, colors as well to set ourselves apart. Finally, mm -hmm. I can't talk highly enough about my team back in California, like yeah. customer service, the quality control, the fact that they really give a damn. It's, I know, I yeah. I consider myself lucky there. Now you guys got something special because I, I had a lot of people comment like, oh, these fabrics are not really well insulated. I came on a cold day. Mm -hmm. We went, I, we, I went inside and I was like, man, this is super insulated. Feels great. Who's yeah. talking about how they took it up to? They, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the mountains and every yep. snow. They took it to Baja, California. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, heat or cold, both of them. No, no problem. Yeah, I think this one's got the heater in it. It does have the heater in it. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that heater is punchy. And like, we got this annex that you can fit on the outside that totally covers the kitchen. You can mm. close that off. Like ground sheet, all the front sheets. Then the heat can heat the cabin. Like yeah, <laughs> the control can heat the outside area as well. Like, it's it's a really efficient piece of kit. That's the true Bavaria heat. I actually can't talk about it enough. I know, it's so very good. impressive, very impressive. Well, it was great talking. Thanks for so your name one more time. It was Paul. Paul, 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 and Justin. Justin, yeah. Justin take care, buddy. I gotta go around to my boss. Okay, hey, listen. Yeah, but you guys can see this has so much room in these. Oh, I hadn't even seen it with this whole seating section popped up. It's very nice. Very nice. Look at how much room. And then they, these pillars are air filled, as he said. Makes it very sturdy in here. I even like these little steps outside. <laughs> but yeah, look at this four stove burner. Nice kitchen section right here. Everything's well lit. Ooh, this is what I'm looking for. The XT 16 HR is right here. Now we get to see them with their lights on. Because usually we never get to see it with the power on. But look at this. Right here you got a pop out tray that comes out. This right here has a three stove burner. You got your sinks. Ooh, look at this more space up top that's a great idea that all folds flat let's check out the storage out here plenty of storage for your spatulas and stuff yeah check that out i didn't even know this light lit up very nice plenty of light when you're stepping in and then you got your king size that's queen size you got two bunks right here seating section very long and then we come into your shower. Oh, it's a very nice shower. And at 511, do I stand? Plenty of room, no problem. Look at that shower head, toilet, and your sink. So it looks like your cooking section is outside, and then you have a refrigerator that you can pull from. And that's why it's facing the door. Let's see how deep these cabinets are. I like twist and open. Very deep. And as you can see, you have plenty of storage options all around. It's going for 61,000. We're gonna check out this one now. I don't think I've ever seen this XT17. You got orange light theme on this one. 
going on. Right, check this out. Oh, so you got your kitchen inside now. You got a decent sized sink, faucet, and you got three stove burner. Seating section right here. About a, a little bit shorter than a queen size. That's more like a full. And you got your bunk beds right here. Refrigerator. And let's check out the restroom. Oh, this is a nice bathroom. Why a huge mirror? This toilet. Watch the videos. Yeah, this is very nice. Look at the lighting over the cabinets up top. And they're deep cabinets as well. That glossy finish on everything, easy to wipe down. So this one's going for 64000 Oh, even got deep storage in the front. It's for your propane on this side. It's for, for your gear. And then even got another one on the other side. That one's locked up. So next we got this Lance. But we've seen this one before. Now we can see it with the lights on. You got that spotlight up top. Man, I appreciate the kind words, man. Handrail to go up. Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> that light beam kind of looks more futuristic, like I'm in some type of test, futuristic test. Oh, I don't know if I can go in there. Somebody's probably using it. Should have knocked before I even tried. All right, so this one's the XT12. Going for 51000 and this is from Princess Craft RV. Look at this. Yeah, this is a queen size. Looks like it. No, this is a full. This is more like a full. Got your TV right there. Cubbies up top. Pop and twist. Glossy finish on everything. Cool little seating section right here. And let's see. More, more closet space right there. Let's check out this restroom. Very nice restroom. A lot of space in there. That's pretty nice. Next up, we got this XL15-4. Yeah, cooking section outside, three stove burner. I love this design so much. I, I don't know why, but I just want to buy this part for something. You got a sink right here on the other side. Looks like you can mount your TV outdoors as well. You got these trays that pop out. Probably put your dishes there or other things that you used to cook with. What is this? A smoker? <laughs> What's this? I don't know what this is. Let's open it up. Oh, that's not a smoker. That is. I don't know what this is. Yeah. Looks cool though. Let's go ahead and go inside. See what they're working with. Oh, right off the back, we got two bunks right here. So this whole top section pops up. This usually is folded in and these matches will be scooted over. But when you're camped, we pop that out and this becomes a king size mattress right here. We got cubby space, control panels. Is that for your solar? Maybe. No, so it looks like this is how you control your fresh water tank, pumps, hot water, control panel. Look at that, plenty of room. Let's check out this. Shower, nice shower. Very nice shower. Yeah. Here goes your sink, free soap burner. I think I already did that. Kitchen section. This is how it looks with all the lights on. Now we got duck our heads and get out. Here we go. So this is a Terra Rover going for 63000 This is one of my favorite brands for sure. But yeah, just if we go inside. Nice kit, nice little seating section. Very nice. I like this blue ambient light as well. Chef style faucet with this nice sink. Ooh, check out this backsplash. It's made out of metal too. Let's see, we got two stove burner right here. Yep, two stove burner. And it even comes with an oven, which is amazing. Or is that the microwave? That's the microwave. Convection. All right, so we come over here. It's giving me a lot of Airstream vibes, just from the layout. Yeah, you got this huge shower section. Very huge. I got. I can't go in here with this this helmet on my back. Ooh. 
And I'm guessing your toilet is right over here. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. And this all comes to your... This is a pretty small mattress. I'd say this is a full-size mattress. Decent closet space. Uh, yeah. This is a very, very nice vibe in here. This is your pocket door. But yeah, I love the design of these. I think I like the smaller one better, but they're all pretty nice. This is the other one I was looking at. So we got this compact camper right here. It's called the Soul Rover. It's got that nice big windshield right there. That's very nice. Let's go on the inside. Brings you to this beautiful kitchen with this blue ambient lit vibe. And then we got this we got this counter space up top, refrigerator right here, small little fridge. Then you got your teapot. You know, how many stove burners? This is a two stove burner. Cook you some tea in the morning. You got the chef style faucet with this wide sink, stainless steel, cubbies up top. Oh, very deep cubbies too. Let's come over to your restroom. Oh, this is a beautiful restroom. And that 511, I do indeed stand for sure. But look at the lighting in here. This is such a nice vibe to get washed to, you know? Yeah, you got a lot of foot space to do your business, whether it be toilet or shower. Cover on your toilet paper. Then it brings you over to the seating section with a lot of room to sit. Ambient light on your cubbies, very nice. More cubby space back here, up top. Yeah, TV right here. And more storage. This is very nice. This is like um, the base camp, Soul Rover, 31,000. So next up we got this Luna. Ooh, let's go in here. Intech Rover. Wow, they said in the mood with this one, you ain't never seen something so peaceful and luxurious. They even got a little counter, counter space right here. What is this, a toilet? This is a toilet right here. So you can do your business while you relax by your LED lit fire. Wow, this is a vibe. Blue ambient lighting. You got your TV right here. This probably all folds out to a bed. And check out the outside. This one's only going for a twenty-two thousand. Kitchen section right there. Very nice. All right. Ooh, what we got over here? Well, first off, let's check out this bear food by I think it's pronounced New Camp. We're going for a forty-one thousand. And this pastel pink. Look at this. <laughs> This is a This is a dream of a girl camper, man. I have no room to stand. Only in the kitchen if I go back here, ugh, knocking myself out. But look at that shower section. Very nice. They even got little cubbies back there. I can't fit in that, but yeah, let's check this out. Two stove burner. This is your sink right here. Very nice sink. Got your mini fridge down here. A lot of space in there. Then you got a little shelf section for your martinis, of course. Cubby space up top. LED backlit. Yeah, man. That's very nice. That's the barefoot. What is this over here? But this is another compact camper. Look at the awnings on both sides. Let's go ahead and check out this interior. Ooh. This is super nice. Look at this elevated seating section. With that wide window right there. Leads you over to your full size mattress. Man, look at the space. And they got the, cu they got the cubbies on the sides. And they look pretty deep too. Got your TV right there. Man, is this the best compact truck camper? Check this out, man. This is this is relaxing in style with all these beautiful ambient lights all around you. 
And look at this detail up top. And they got inlaid lighting in the wood. Lit cabinets. That's beautiful. Look at the little cubbies up top. I'm just, I love this section right here. Look at this. This is camping in style for sure. We even got this wide oh, kitchen with a lot of countertop space. And look at the bathroom. Look at that. You got plenty of space. And I stand for sure. I already know. This is beautiful. That's the name of it right there. And this camper is beautiful. This is a very nice camper. So right here we got another Lance. And first of all, check out the exterior. This is another Lance for 49,000. Here go some of the specs. Let's go ahead and go inside. Ah, oh, it's so cozy. Wow, this is nice. This is amazing. It's so cozy in here. You have so much room to move around. It's such a compact camper too. Man, this is so nice. As you can see, I got plenty of headroom. Look at this elegant refrigerator. It's not too deep, but it does the job. Yeah. Very nice. This looks like a full-size bed. That's nice. Alright, gotta watch your <laughs> watch your make sure that doesn't come over to your kitchen section. You got separated sinks with a nice faucet. Three stove burner. And look at this backsplash. Cubbies up top. Microwave. A lot of storage over there. Let's see if they have a restroom. Ooh, a pocket door, sliding door. And not a whole lot of room in the bed restroom, but you do got a lot of countertop space set your products you can do your business and you can brush your teeth in the morning very nice very nice all right let's see what we can find next next i see is escape by all liner very compact camper let's check it out all right so this is your seating section dash sleeping section because this turns into a bed right here as you can see i have a lot of headroom down there over here it gets a little cramped for me at 511 but right here i have a lot of headroom comes with a toilet a hidden toilet so that way you can do your business over here and then you can do your business down there you know what i'm saying what's over here control panel and then we have a sink we have a two stove burner microwave up top cubby space then we have a mini fridge right here. Yeah, mini fridge. Yep. Little mini fridge. But yeah, this is a pretty cool compact camper. This one caught my eye. Look at this awning. First off, got a ladder to go up top. But look at the look at the hardwood here. This is like this is gonna be 2013 closet <laughs> vibes. Very nice. And being such a warm tone of wood, of course it feels cozy in here. It's like a huge, that's a huge sink. Very huge sink. Got a lot of countertop space in your kitchen. Three stove burner. Oven right there. And a mirror on your refrigerator. Good idea. Very nice idea. Let's see what that restroom is looking like. Oh, that's a lot of space in here. That's an interesting restroom. Look at that. So it's, it's two sections. So you can move the shower curtain over, divide the section. So you got your toilet on this side, shower on this side. I don't really know why you would want that, but I'm pretty sure there is a reason. At 511, I have plenty of headroom for sure. Nice little sink right here. Seating section so you can take a shower if you're very tired from mountain biking in the ocean then you got this toilet right there beautiful seating section with leather feels like leather but it's probably not real yeah very nice we're gonna check out this one right here and this one's going for fifty-four thousand. let's see what this has okay so this right here has a folding bed it folds up it becomes a couch folds down becomes your bed it even has a little curtain section 
So you can divide it off if you wanted to. We have a raised up seating section and a booth style. So you can draw your Moscow. 2015, huh, what a year. But yeah, here's your kitchen with your chef style faucet. You got these pantries up top. And you got your refrigerator and freezer, very nice. Then we got this shower section right here. Let's see if I stand at 5'11". Oh yeah, plenty of room. Not even a problem. But yeah, it's a pretty fancy shower head. Wow, look how deep, <laughs> look how deep, here, let me put a water bottle there. That's how deep this bathroom sink is. It fits the whole water bottle, that's crazy. Never seen that before. But you got cabinets in your restroom for storage. Nice and deep cabinets. Towel holder. There's your toilet right there. I actually like this floor a lot. Oven. Let's check out this cabinet space. Ooh, comes with trays. Very handy. Deep storage underneath your sink. And yeah, check this out. Look how, yo, long. We got very tall windows on either side with shades that stay in place. I love to see it. We love that. Ah, I wish that was on everything. And I do like this because when you wake up in the morning, you can look up and enjoy the sun coming in and get refreshed for your day. So I'm actually very impressed by this Lance. This is my first time seeing a Lance camper. All right, right here we got this mod bug. We get to see it with the lights on. It's a very nice compact camper. And they're getting fancy with the lighting. Look at that, setting that mood. Decent space. Let me see if I can go inside. Probably take off my backpack. Oh, a little hard to get in. But once you get in, you got plenty of headroom sitting up. Man, that's a very cool feature. It looks like you're at an art museum. <laughs> yeah, you got your heater. Heater and cooler right there. You got more stuff. Don't know what that is. Yeah. Very nice little compact camper. Does the job. So I've never seen this one before. This is a... How you, how you pronounce his name? Taxa. Taxa. Awesome. This I've never seen this before. Yeah, Taxa Outdoors. This is our Mantis. This is our largest model. Mm -hmm. uh, 19 feet in length. Two editions, a standard and overland edition. Uh, this is the overland edition, so it'll have the upgrades to your suspension, your hitch, yeah. and your tire. I can tell. It looks ready for anything. <laughs> ah, so this is awesome. So it's very low, but this tent, like this pop-up tent section up top gives you a lot more headroom. This is how the outdoor outside looks. So this one's going for 41,000. Let's go ahead and check this out. Yeah, look at this. You got so much more room in here just because of this pop-up section. Very nice. You got bunks right here. This could also be shelf space if you wanted it to be. You got sink, two stove burner. Plus we got milk crates for cabinets. On this side too, you got this also a bigger mattress down here. That's getting close to a full size. And then, do you have a toilet in here? We do not. We got trash can, more space for cubbies. Yeah, this is a very rugged camper. Be ready for anything. Very nice camper. Look how wide this door is. It's like super wide. So we got this Ibex right here. I hope that's how you pronounce it. It's going for 21,000. Look at that. Whole lot of room in there. LED lit fireplace with your TV. Let's go ahead and go inside. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's a big step up. Oh, I'm a little sore because I went biking. But yeah, look how much room is in here. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. You got two doors on either side, which is very handy and appreciated. <laughs> but that's not it. You also get a little tent up top. I'm hey, I'm gonna go ahead and try to go up it. Is it good to go up that? Okay, okay cool. Perfect. Appreciate it. It's on me. <laughs> Got, oh, okay, bet. <laughs> they say it's cool to go up. So I'm gonna do that for you guys. I'm gonna take this water bottle out. I'm gonna go up and check it out. Oh man, that ladder feels like it's about to collapse, man. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. All right, we up here. We up here, man. We're up on top of the world, highest in the room right now. 
Yeah, yeah, it feels very sturdy up here. The mattress is very comfortable and very wide, so you got plenty of room to sleep. And you don't have to worry about your significant other taking your side because you have plenty of side, but she'll still find a way. But as you can see, we're up here. And we got a good vantage point of the event. Here goes the sketchy part, trying to get down. Wish me luck. Okay, we got good footing. Okay, that's the part of the stair that feels kind of sketchy, so we're gonna try to keep moving. That's pretty cool. Panorama awning, outdoor cooking section with that blue backlit LED light, chef style faucet. Yeah, look at that. Mini fridge, very nice, two stove burner. Next, let's check out this Mini Max for 28,000. Well, let's check out the back up here. This is the one I like because of that window that contours contours to the outside of the camper. But yeah, look at this. This whole this whole side becomes a bed section. When you're not sleeping, you can make it into this very nice seating section. We can relax and enjoy your day after eating lizard tails. You got this very deep kitchen right here with that nice faucet, very deep sink, and Two stove burner. Let's check out that restroom. All right, goes your restroom, and I cannot stand in this at 511. I am not standing in there. Yeah, refrigerator right there, and freezer. Very nice. There's cubby space. There's a little ledge so you can store stuff, put stuff there like your phone and whatnot. But yeah, that's a very mighty Mini Max little camper. So we got this R Pod by Forest River. It's very nice. Look, this whole window pops out, which is awesome. Let's check out the back of it. Yeah, let's go ahead and go inside. All right, we come inside to your seating section with this carved wood ecstatic. I like it. Deep circle sink with your ornate chef style faucet. Very nice. Two stove burner. Didn't have to lift that up. You could have seen it. Convection. Looks like a microwave. I'm not sure if it's convection or not. Over here we have your refrigerator. That's a lot of room for your leche. Yeah, freezer. Decent sized freezer. And you got this full size mattress right here. Very nice. Very nice. And then let's go check out that restroom cool restroom do I stand at 511 oh yeah plenty of headroom look at that no problem whatsoever you actually got a deep sink in here which I appreciate the toilet seat right there very nice very nice all right check out this ROG right here and this one's going for 34,000 Let's check it out. So I think this is a toy hauler. This looks like a toy hauler, but I'm not too sure. It's a very interesting little camper. You have plenty of headroom at 511. Cubby spot, cubby sections up top, made out of metal. Heavy duty. What's this? Huge storage section. You got your refrigerator, little mini fridge, with freezer up top. Little cubbies right there. They're made out of metal. Heavy duty. But I'm pretty sure it's some type of toy hauler. But it also becomes a mattress and becomes your sleeping quarters. But check out this. What is this? Tiger Moth? Check this out. This is the wildest mini camper I've ever seen. Look at the door. They got, they got suicide doors on them. Butterfly doors. <laughs> I guess that's a moth door. But look how unique this camper is. Very nice. Got your burner. You can put your stove right there. Got a sink right here. And it's collapsible. And here, you got a sleeping section. What else they got to give you? Offer. Yeah, so it looks like this whole section slides out. Becomes your bed. Got a little mini table. But yeah, this is crazy. I've never seen... A design like this is so unique. It's called a Texa Tiger Moth. 
Very interesting. Take out this toy hauler right here. This caught my eye because of the red. <laughs> the red backlit cubbies and this blue mattress that pops out. It even has little bunks to offer. It's very nice. And I think this whole this bunk folds in and then folds up and gets out your way. And this futon folds up, gets out your way, and you can put your boat in here or your kayak. Here goes your kitchen with a two stove burner, nice wide sink, matte black finish on your faucet. Look at this red LED backlit cubby. Very nice, very nice vibe. Check it out. Oh, looks like it was some type of sci fi movie or something. We go to the restroom. We can see that at 5'11", I have plenty of headroom in here. Pretty decent quality shower head right there. Toilet seat. Very nice. It's probably one of the smallest teardrop campers I've seen. But you know, the tires got a lot of tread on them. But yeah, we come in here. Oh, they made it look so aesthetically pleasing. Oh, this is nice. This can become a couch as well. I think you have plenty of headroom in here. I'm sweaty, so I don't want to get all over their stuff, but two doors on either side. Oh, look at this. So this is privacy. If you want to have privacy, you turn it, and you open it if you want to let some light in. Oh, this is by New Camp. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Somebody in the comments said that's how you pronounce it. So, oh, look at the ambient red light in the bottom. Outdoor kitchen. And this is a wide kitchen section too. Cutting board, two stove burner, decent sized sink with a faucet. Beautiful elegant flowers right here. Oh yeah. Convection microwave. Right here is your cooler. I think you have to move this cutting board to get to your cooler. Very nice little camper. And then this is the specs on it. So this is a 2024. New Camp Tab 400. Alright. This is beautiful. This right here is something I would get for sure. Nice sink. This is a two stove burner. This right here is a full size bed. And I like these lighting details. Very interesting. They're acrylic. Got that nice long window. And then, this is the only thing I don't like about it, is this, this refrigerator. It's so hard to open. You have to use two hands to open that one. But if we come to the restroom, you can see why. I think this is so beautiful. It's because this is the fanciest restroom I've seen in a compact camper. And of course, at 5'11", I do stand in this elegant restroom. I like these circle cutouts for the windows. And they even have shades that fix in place. Nice little, nice little seating section. It's a beautiful camper. We have no boundaries right here. This one's going for a twenty-two thousand. As you can see, that's a little sneak peek to what we're going to see next. Yeah, very nice pop-up tent from the top so it was a pop-up tent I was wondering if it was last time we didn't get to see it fully extended you even have room for your kayak up top this right here is your cooking section very cool no boundaries aka no bow thank you guys for joining me on this video of checking out Austin's RV Expo have a good day today tomorrow and yesterday adios